So the symptoms of uveitis vary depending on the type of uveitis you have. You may have anterior uveitis, which is the most common. And typically, patients will present with a red eye, which is sensitive to light. However, sometimes patients can present with anterior uveitis and never know about it. Those patients often have chronic anterior uveitis. And the trouble with chronic anterior uveitis is that it can cause damage to the eye and you might not know about it. It's important to see your ophthalmologist or your optometrist every year just to get seen to make sure that there's no problems in the eye. If you have intermediate or posterior uveitis, then often patients will present with floaters or a reduction in vision. And that can be because the bulk of the inflammation is actually floating around in the middle of the eye or is affecting the retina, which are the nerves at the back of the eye that allow you to see. Uveitis can be a serious condition, but sometimes it can just be a condition that you live with and will occasionally require treatment for. Again, it depends on the type of uveitis you have. So many patients with anterior uveitis will have an annoying condition, which if untreated could cause their vision to become compromised, but actually with good treatment, they'll live a normal life with good vision and just occasionally need to come in to see a doctor. Patients with severe posterior uveitis have sight-threatening conditions and that can actually cause them to lose vision if it's not treated straight away. So the pain from uveitis really again varies depending on where your inflammation is. So if the inflammation is predominantly affecting the front of the eye and the iris, typically people will describe a sharp pain, sensitivity to light, light itself will be painful, and often you'll have a red circle around the coloured part of the eye. However, if you have inflammation inside the eye at the back of the eye, then whilst that can be quite damaging to your vision, often patients get no pain at all and you just get visual symptoms. Patients who have scleritis, so inflammation of the outside coast of the eye, describe a very different sort of pain, and that tends to be much more aching and boring and often can keep people awake from night of sphere. So uveitis can either be infectious, so caused by infections like the herpes virus or tuberculosis, or more commonly in the UK, non-infectious, and is analogous to arthritis and inflammatory bowel problems, which are caused by a combination of things that we encounter in our life and our genetic predisposition towards them. So we don't fully understand why people develop non-infectious uveitis, but the vast majority of our patients do have that, that, that specific type. So uveitis can be treated in a number of different ways. We typically use either eye drops, or we can inject the eye with different sorts of medication, sometimes steroids, sometimes very specific medicines that target specific problems inside the eye. And we can inject those medicines either inside the eye or around the back of the eye. Most severe uveitis or uveitis that's going on for a long period of time, we would tend to use bodily medicines, so either medicines that you swallow or inject, and that tends to modulate your whole body's immune system to try and reduce the effect of the uveitis. 